All right, you guys, welcome to my therapy session. Tough night last night. Cowboys lost. The Heathering pick went as bad as he could have potentially gone. What I will say is I'm grateful that there was no big injuries last night. Heatherington could have come out and got two in the first two minutes and got injured. He's fine. We're good. All right, time for the rant. Kobe, what was that? 41 minutes? Are you guys serious? Is Walters serious? Like, he plays... Ryan James, as many minutes as Kobe, like, he's doing okay, but, you know, Corey Jensen getting 37 minutes, like, what was going on here? Okay, that's a start. The minutes, like, where's the Carrigan, you know, not even close to Carrigan minutes, right? Like, 30, 30 less minutes, 25 less minutes, like, you're surely expecting 50 to 55. Like, you played this role last year, you know, low 50s minutes at a minimum, and he's better than he was last year? I don't understand. Secondly, they didn't even run at him, right? <laughs> He played in the middle, but every time he was like slightly to the right or slightly to the left, they ran to the other side or they ran straight in the middle when, when he wasn't there. Half the time, the tackles he had to make, he was, you know, diving at the legs and, and getting them down that way. Like, you know, thankfully he got to run the ball a fair bit and that meant that obviously they had the ball a little bit more, but it just wasn't his game. Like the 41 minutes, even even with those minutes, you know, he's got a, he's got a 33, 43 and 26. He scored better in all the games where he had way less minutes. You know, 30, 26 and 24 minutes last week three more tackles than he got this week so it's obviously an, an anomaly game but not great when you select him and he's still owned by a very 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 tiny percentage of um of teams in the top five thousand so that was painful i'm you know i'm sorry for this week for the people that brought him in he will not score lower than 24 again please okay i feel like i can breathe now thankfully pain has did well but anyway we'll, we'll pop into the the warriors cowboys game and we'll, we'll talk about that to start my second blow up Four minutes to go, 10 meters out, fifth tackle, quick play the ball. How easy is it just to drop it back 10 meters, pass it to Val, pass it to Townsend, whoever it is, kick the field goal. What are they doing? Drake Granville comes out of dummy half, kicks it 15 meters dead. You, you know, Warriors get the seven tackles. So they obviously didn't you know, score off that play or score a point. It obviously went to golden point. And whatever happened from that point, didn't matter. The Warriors deserved to win. That's completely fine. But that play there, just ice the game get it done i don't know what granville was doing obviously a bit of a little bit of a brain snap we all it all happens to all of us um it's happening to me right now <laughs> but yeah that was tough all right now we can breathe aiken you and aiken what a legend 80 points this game 45 tackles so back to where he was in that first game we got that 56 in base so that was perfect the eight tackle breaks the line break try really good really good run for him and that 80 points is going to get him up you know over the next bunch of weeks closer to a 700k um, you know, price there. And a lot of people were thinking about moving him on. And that's, you know, with him, especially he's, he was averaging pretty well. He's making, he's made to 50 K doing, um, doing great things out there. So he's not a trade. He's going to be a hold for the majority of the season. He'll be keeper in the centers. If he keeps playing that 80 minutes on an edge, which it looks like he probably will. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll current move to the edge. We'll, we'll, to we'll to you know, play on the edge as well. All questions to be answered. But at this point, you've got to keep holding Aiken. Curran as well with a nice try and 54 tackles in his um you know in his full game. So he didn't even get a rest this one, which was really, really good for anyone who owns him. He's a great pickup as well, averaging 60 now across the season. So well done to all Curran owners as well. Drinkwater, he looked really good at the back. Like, you know, showed a lot of energy. I think, you know, he's gonna he's gonna do pretty well. You can see that this is the type of game that we wanted Hamisa to have, but he doesn't get involved as much as what, you know, Drinky would, for example. He's obviously a runner of the footy, playing at six and 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 at one here. Had the try, sis. Had the try. It was really, really good to see him doing well, and also great to see Val Holmes come, you know, come back and, and have a nice game, also. So, yeah, well done to to those two guys. Jesse Arthur's. If you picked him up a few weeks ago, you did really well. It was a nice little, you know, cheaper pickup over on loan for the Warriors. There come from the Broncos, and and he's played really well. And as soon as that, you know, Johnson's come back, those two scores has been great. He's got a double and and a nice try in this last game to go along with his 20 tackles for one miss uh, and a couple of line breaks as well. So he's been great. Probably going to be a little bit too expensive now to consider picking him up being over 400K. But you know, if you picked him up as cover, you were you, you did really well. Ruben Cotter got the 49 minutes. So it did start, but yeah, sort of played front rower minutes rather than lock minutes with, with Lolo getting the um the 63 this week. So, you know, 52 points, the, the PPM's great. Got the line break. How good was the hit that um AFB put on him too? Absolutely clocked him. Um, but yeah, Tamalolo with 51 in the 63, so pretty normal for him. Had the five missed tackles, which killed him a little bit. But the four tackle breaks and the offload was solid. So if you're holding on to him, I think you can continue doing so. Johnson was solid with his 49. 
did him with 47 as well. So both guys doing okay at the moment. Adam Fenua Blake with 46, so he's in 41 overnight. So that little bump is helpful for you guys that still own him, but the, the lower minutes was probably expected with him you know, potentially being out for that game. 46 is not good enough if you're looking to hold him. I suppose the question is now, do you do you consider holding him all the way to round 13 or do you look to move him on now? Yeah, that's something you can answer. I won't answer that one because he's not someone that I you know, would personally be interested in picking up yeah, even before the start of round one. But anyway, Tommy Gilbert with 45. So you've got the 70 minutes again. So back to normal, thankfully. If you held on to him, yeah, you, you'll take that score for sure when there's other, guy, other guys in this game that went a, a little bit lower for sure. But um, yeah, it wouldn't be someone I'd look to move on at this stage. Just continue holding with that dual position until you know something happens. Reese Walsh, so we get him with a 37, unfortunately. So four goals, had the five tackle breaks, just you know, no attacking stats this game, and that, and that will come. So if you get a low score of 37, then you can take that for sure. Uh, who else we got here? We got Lodgy with 29, so he's gonna keep losing some cash. All right, Jeremiah and I. So six mixed, missed tackles for him this week, the penalty and yeah, the um, the, the slow peel, and the, sorry, the six again, negative one there. So. Not a great game for negatives again, negative 15. No attacking stats with offloads, you know, tackle busts or the tries there. So a 27 is a little bit annoying. He's someone that I think, you know, is going to be that up and down. We've, we've seen it week to week, but he's someone that you could eventually, in the when he gets around that 500K mark or so, over the next two to four weeks, I'd, I'd say, you could probably think to move him on, whether you, you downgrade him to one of the cheap guys, whether it's Davin Wale, um, you know, Kula, those type of type of guys, then he could be you know, a downgrade target or, or someone you can upgrade, uh, used to upgrade from. Uh, but that's it in that game. We'll move on to the next one. And obviously we spoke about Kobe, but a few other interesting ones here. It was great to see um, Katoni Staggs back, you know, at his best. He was electric. 14 tackle breaks, a couple of line breaks to try there, 200 meters. So they just gave him early ball for once. And, and if you get him one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> you see that, that try he scored, he just bundled... Um, Walker over and Momorowski was Gornski's as well. So yeah, poor, poor Momorowski copped a lot of uh, negatives in this game. We'll, we'll see him right at the bottom, but yeah, Staggs was great. And he, if he continues to get a little bit cheaper, which he'll kind of stop now with that 79, um, he could potentially be an option because he is a keeper in the centers. And you know, if Broncos play like that week to week, which <laughs> remains to be seen, he could um, he could do really well. But if you're Captain Payne Haas, you got the 70 minutes out of him and a 71 with a try saver and the turnover tackle in one go, the 33 tackles, three tackle breaks, two offloads, and the 200 meters. He was um, special as always. You just keep captaining him. Unfortunately, we're going to lose him for next week, one or two weeks. I'm not exactly sure yet, but you just got to hold him, right? There's no point trading him out and trying to trade him back in. Because then it'll get, you know, if it's two weeks, you get to that point where it's round, what, eight, round nine. And do you pick him up before Origin then? There's a few things to think about. So you just hold him and, and hopefully it's just one week. But, you know, how many, you know, 44% of teams own him, pretty much everyone in the top 5,000. So it'd be very interesting if you've held a lot of trades and, you know, maybe if it's a two-week one, you can look to move him on, get Cleary in it and get Hass later. I don't know, but I personally wouldn't do it. Manu with two tries again. He was amazing. Yeah, real. Yeah, that game clinching try as well, and and a great kick from Sammy Walker. So well done to those guys. But um, yeah, he definitely shows that, you know he can become a keeper again this year after that slower start. He's got the center wing fullback. Won't be playing Origin. You know, over the next bunch of weeks, you can think about Joey. Corey Oates actually had a really good game. So kudos to him. No one owns him. Reynolds at 56. He's just doing everything right at the moment. He had the two missed tackles only in terms of negatives and the and sorry and the, and the penalty, but. He was great, 650 kick meters. He's a dominant guy there and you know, averaging 51. So I mentioned at the start of the year, he was going to be a solid one. Missed round one, which is annoying, but he's, you know, he's kind of held price and, and gone up a little bit, which is good. Sammy Walker, if you hold on, got, that, you know, got those few goals, got the try, got the try assists. These are the types of games that we expect from him every second or third week. So you know, the up and down nature of him is, is the slight worry, but well done to Sammy. Victor had two good games in a row, so 45 tackles this one. In the 80 minute effort you know is what it is with with victor he's going to have you know the big games the, the you know if he can get more of these 50 point games then he becomes a better option but it just doesn't come uh, enough unfortunately Crichton with 52 minutes so he had to come on early nat butcher went off so there was no need to take angus off so he played a lot better got the 47 but let's just keep seeing his price drop down and potentially pick him up soon if you own super no he got the try he butchered one as well he's just not going to be a keeper and he's not going to make you too much money so if you interested in moving him on you could do i think that would be fine 
In terms of other guys here, Cape Well was 40 again, just an, uh, you know, an average score for him. Cobo was a little bit better this game. That effort to get out of the in goal was, was really, really special. Um, yeah, just the big minutes from Corey Jensen, Jordan Rickey playing 80. Luke here is going to drop a lot of cash. Uh, Billy Walters with 29, so got the three missed tackles. Uh, the two turnover tackles were solid. Didn't have to do too much. He you know, had, a, had a bunch of good runs, but no attacking stats there. So if he can continue, you know, 30, 35, 40, you know, here and there, then he'll make some cash for us uh, with that 30 average. He's got a little bit more to make, but yeah, not someone that is an urgent trade out, not someone you want to trade in. I think you just hold at this point and then see what happens. He'll, he'll get that big score eventually uh, against a, a lesser team, that's for sure. Yeah, we spoke about Kobe. I don't want to talk about him anymore. Imagine owning Kobe and Tedesco. So he's owned by 19%, a big portion of people, and 23 this week, averaging 41.6 overall. Jeez. Yeah, you're really kicking yourself if you're owning him at the moment. It's just tough. Like, he's he's still playing fine. It's just he's not getting the attacking stats that he's, you know, usually gets, really. That's all it is. They do have a lot more weapons, right? And they're scoring through Joey Manu in the last few games. But even the meter's a little bit down on what he'd normally provide. You know, you'd say, oh, okay, he loses a lot of points through tackle breaks. But he's not even getting that many at the moment. So it's very interesting what you do with him. Jeez, uh, I'm still in probably just in the hold camp because... You're gonna get him eventually. He's gonna he's gonna launch. Like he's not gonna be a guy that averages 44, 45. Like it's just not gonna happen. So yeah, very very annoying at the moment with Teddy, and I'd still potentially hold him for sure. Farnworth with the lower game in between. You know when he's scoring tries and, and when he's not. Momorowski nine missed tackles. Poor bloke on um, Gatoni Stags. It was a tough night at the office for him. Thankfully for them, they got the win. Um, but he came up against Gatoni when he had a real real crack. So. Uh, unlucky for, Mo for Momorowski owners and, and him in general. Not that there's too many at 1.7%. Um, and Corey Pakes took a few minutes off Turpin there. So 26 there, he's not going to be an option over the next you know, bunch of weeks. And TC Rabadi down with a six, unfortunately. So if he, you know, if there's injuries in the in the back row, then he becomes an option because he's going to be under 300K eventually. So that's that, guys. Let me know um, your thoughts on that if you enjoyed you know, giving me the, the therapy session. I de set therapy session. I definitely feel a lot better um, after ranting there. But good luck with all your uh, Saturday games and, and where your team's at. Hopefully, you didn't have Kobe and and I um, and anyone else in the in you know in Teddy, for example. You're gonna have a pretty rough week. But other than that, enjoy those games, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you, team.